Hi, I'm John Kennedy and I am VP of Wimpath Development in Assidua. Today you will see a demonstration of Assidua's OneStacks OpenFlow software running on a PMC Sierra WGS3 reference platform. The demonstration will use an OpenFlow controller interacting with the OneStacks OpenFlow 1.3.2 implementation to support the OSPF protocol and to establishment of routes between two external 8605 routers. For simplicity, the OpenFlow controller will run on the WDS3 platform, but could just as easily be running on a remote server. You will see the OSPF routes being learnt by the OpenFlow controller and instructing OneStacks to create traffic flows on the WinPath network processor, allowing traffic to pass to and from the routers at wire speed. An overview of the hardware setup is as follows. Two 8605 commercial routers with some pre-configured routes will be attached to a PMC Sierra WDS3 platform. On the WDS3, you will see the following software in operation. Linux kernel 3.7, updated by Assidua to support PMC's WinPath network processors. An OpenFlow 1.3.2 controller, interacting with a local Quagga OSPF daemon. And Assidua's OneStack software with OpenFlow 1.3.2 support. The WDS3 and 8605s are already part on. You can see on the console five tabs. Three tabs are used to communicate to the WDS3 for this demo in order to show the output from OneStacks, OpenFlow and OSPF. The other two are for the 8605s. At the moment, the 8605s are not connected to the WDS3. To begin, the OneStacks software is started Debug trace for OpenFlow has been enabled. OneStacks is configured to connect to an OpenFlow controller. Next, the OpenFlow controller is started. OpenFlow sends messages to the OneStacks to set up default OSPF flows. Now, the WDS3 OSPF daemon is started. You can see the default routes configured on the WDS3 OSPF. And also on both 8605 routers. The first 8605 is connected to the WDS3. You can see OpenFlow messages on OneStacks instructing the creation of new traffic flows. You can see the new routes in WDS3 OSPF. On the first 8605, you can see the default OneStacks routes appear. Next, the second 8605 is connected to the WDS3. Again, you can see OpenFlow messages on OneStacks instructing the creation of new traffic flows. These are for the new routes from the second 8605. You can see these new routes in WDS3 OSPF. On the second 8605, you can see more routes have appeared. These are from the WDS3 OSPF and the first 8605. OneStacks has no intelligence of the OSPF protocol. It is only doing what OpenFlow has instructed. It is OpenFlow along with the WDS3 OSPF daemon that is communicating to the 8605s. To show routes being created dynamically, one of the interfaces on the second 8605 is brought into service using a loopback connector. This interface has the IP address 7771. On OneStacks you can see OpenFlow creating a flow for a new route 7770. On the WDS3 OSPF you can see a route for 7770 appear. On both 8605s the same route also appears. The path can be verified by pinging 7771 from the first 8605. If the loopback connector is removed, OSPF will announce the removal of the 7770 route. On one stacks, you can see OpenFlow removing this flow. On the WDS3 OSPF, the 777 route has been removed. On both 8605s, the 7770 route has also been removed. Pings from the first 8605 now fail. Inserting the loopback connector re-establishes the route. OpenFlow creates it again on OneStacks. And pings from the first 8605 pass. 
In summary, by using Assiduous OneStack's OpenFlow software, you can very quickly implement an OpenFlow 1.3.2 control and data plane solution for the current PMC WinPath 3 and next generation WinPath 4 network processors, giving you support for the next generation software-defined networking on a hardware-accelerated, highly configurable WinPath platform. For more information, please visit us at assidu.com forward slash OneStacks.